Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is True Wonder Dog, and I'm here today with a guide for Cooler. This character has a ton of range and decent pressure tools as well, and it seems like his main strength is going to be countering the opponent, whether that be with punishing, going through the enemy's projectiles, or even just countering them raw with that level 3. So without any further ado, let's start off with his normals. Now as far as his light attacks go, nothing special about him, and his crouching light does not hit low, so that's a bit of a shame, but don't worry, Cooler has a ton of different lows that more than make up for it. And then next up we have the mediums, which are fantastic. The standing medium, not super great, though still pretty fantastic range, right? But the main event is definitely his crouching medium and his jumping medium. I mean, my god, look at the range on this thing. Oh my gosh, it's so far. In fact, it's so far that you can't even capitalize on it with your standing medium at certain distances. It just won't reach. In those situations, you'll want to use the heavy, because he's just so far away after you hit him. But it's still a fantastic move, it's going to be great for whiff punishing, it's going to be great for checking the opponent's feet from too far away, it's going to be great after blocking a vanish and then backdashing, you can just counter with this right away. It's fantastic. And his jumping medium is almost as good. It's got fantastic range also, although I don't think quite as far, but it's still amazing. However, it does have longer recovery than other mediums, like right now I'm trying to do light afterwards and I can't actually get it out in time. So it appears like you can't do that even if you want to. But even so, the fantastic range still makes it very, very useful. Even after a super dash, so I'm gonna go ahead and make Goku block real quick. He's gonna guard everything. And watch this. If you can force the opponent to block your super dash, then the medium will also catch them if they push a button. And I also want to mention that if his air medium lands ever, then the down heavy in the air is almost always guaranteed afterwards, since it does have a pretty big hitbox on it. So whether you trade in the air or you catch the opponent standing on the ground, you can always hit confirm into a crouching heavy. So basically, Cooler's mediums are all amazing. But next up we have his command normals, and Cooler actually has a couple. So first off, we have Ford Heavy. This is actually an extra low for Cooler, and it has good range too. So not only is it a good mix-up, but it's also great for combo extension. So for example, right here. I can squeeze it in before the heavy, and get a bit more damage that way. And since it does hit low, the opponent's going to be more inclined to crouch, especially if you start training them to. Which means that into your combos, you can start putting in the overheads instead. And with the right assist, you can of course convert off that for a full combo. So you want to train the opponent to block low with moves like forward heavy, and then later on you can start doing the overheads to mix them up and get a full combo with the right assists. And next we have his down forward heavy. And I don't mean quarter circle forward heavy, I just mean diagonal down forward and heavy. This move has fantastic range, and more importantly, it beats projectiles, even beam projectiles. And with the right assist, you can actually extend this for a full combo. So not only can you punish a beam projectile, but you can get a full combo afterwards with the right assist. And if you have the opponent cornered, you no longer need the assist either. You can just super dash for a full combo. And that's about it for his normal attack, so let's move on to his special moves. And just like with Android 17, I want to arrange these from least complex to most complex. So let's go ahead and start off with his beam projectile. Now it's a pretty standard beam projectile, although it is quite slow on startup. The opponent basically has all day to see it coming. Now they're going to have a hard time jumping over it since it is quite high in the air because Cooler is tall. However, they could definitely double jump over it and then go for a super dash if they see it coming. Now thankfully, you can also do it in the air, and that defeats some of those options, or you could tiger knee it to do it closer to the ground. So even though it is a bit slow, it's still great for commanding space. And of course, if it hits, you can vanish for a full combo. And next up, we have his Death Shaker, which is a full screen low, so if the opponent's feet are on the ground, this will catch them if they're not crouching, so it's a very good move for checking the opponent's feet from a distance. And if you're close enough to the opponent, then certain assists can actually extend this move for a full combo. And this attack is also great on block as well, since it combos very naturally into your vanish, so it's actually a true block string if you use it with vanish. So in other words, the opponent can't use a down heavy on you while you're vanishing. And next up we have his dive kick, Death Chaser. This attack does hit overhead and covers a good portion of the screen, although as you saw just then, it's quite easy to whiff it if you don't space it properly. It might fly right over the opponent, and of course you don't want that, so make sure to space it properly. And since it does hit overhead, this can be a decent mix-up tool after an instant air dash, so you can do normal and then a second overhead. So even though you can't do medium light with cooler, you could do medium into dive kick. However, notice how if you do an assist, it actually goes away if you land the dive kick which is a bit strange, but I think it's to make this move a bit more balanced. So even though you could use an assist to cover you on the way in, you can't actually use it to combo afterwards. It's just not gonna work. The assist does go away if you hit the opponent. So now let's go ahead and talk about the different versions. So the light version does the least damage, but it's also the fastest. 
so you can actually combo into it naturally. Whereas the medium version is a bit slower, but it actually causes a slide knockdown, and in fact you can also combo into super afterwards, even the level 3. So if you do manage to land this move, it's perfect for comboing into super. And unfortunately, you will have to do it raw because this move is so slow that it never combos naturally. And maybe you could use certain assists to get it the combo, but otherwise Cooler cannot combo into it on his own. And then you have the heavy version, which is a perfect mix of both. It's fast like the light version and gives you a slide knockdown like the medium version. It also does good damage as well. And since it does give you a slide knockdown, it's also perfect for comboing into super if you do want to spend that many bars. And hey, if it kills the opponent, I say it's always worth it. And last but not least, we have his rising knee attack. And this attack is great because it is invincible, however, not all versions are. The light version is the fastest, but is not invincible on startup, at least not from what I can tell. If I try to use it, it does either trade or get beat out clean. So while it is faster and great for catching the opponent in certain situations, it's not invincible like the medium version. Now the medium version, while a bit slower, is fully invincible the entire way through, so no matter what the opponent does, if you're close enough, this thing's gonna hit. So it's very similar to Vegeta's Rising Knee in that regard. So it's gonna be a very good defensive tool for getting the opponent off you. And then of course you have the heavy version, which is once again a mix of both. It's fast like the light version, and fully invincible like the medium version. Although in my honest opinion, I don't see any reason why you'd want to spend a bar at the start of this move. And I say for the start of the move because it actually has a follow-up. All three versions can be extended. So for example, if I was to press the light attack, it sends the opponent behind me. Whereas if I press medium, it keeps him in front of me. So that's going to be fantastic for keeping corner advantage on the opponent especially for ending combos because it does put them in a slide knockdown. And in fact, this special move is almost always how you want to end your combos, especially if you want to combo into super. And then you have the heavy follow-up, which is great for several reasons. One, it does the most damage, and two, it combos naturally into your level 3 super, which is a big deal because as you'll learn later on, that grounded level 3 does not work for combos. So if you want to combo naturally into his air level 3, then the heavy ender of his uppercut is the perfect way to do it. And as I mentioned a bit earlier, this attack is also his assist, so it's great for extending combos and great for defense as well. So if the opponent's pressuring you and you just want to get him off you, you can tag in this assist and it's invincible almost immediately, so it's going to beat nearly anything your opponent does as long as you yourself don't get hit, because of course if you get hit, the assist will go away. And on top of defense, it's also great for extending combos as well, similar to Adult Gohan. So even though Cooler is best as a point character in my opinion, his assist ain't too shabby either and definitely has its uses. Alright, that's it for his special moves, so let's move on to his supers. First up we have his grounded level 1. This move has very good range and does decent damage too, however since it switches sides you do give up the corner advantage, so unless you're mid-screen I don't recommend using this one to end combos. You're much better off doing the air level 1 instead. So the air level 1, as mentioned earlier, is one of the best ways to end combos. Now it does do slightly less damage, but you do keep the opponent in the corner. And in fact, if you do use it to end corner combos, you actually stay very close to the opponent, so it can be great for Oki pressure. And last but not least, we have his level 3 super, and Cooler has two versions of this as well. So on the ground, it's a counter attack. And it counters everything, doesn't matter if the opponent does a projectile even, it will beat everything including other supers as well, so if the opponent tries to do a raw super on you, this can be a great way to counter it. And since this super starts up almost immediately, it also beats safe jump options as well, which normally can counter a lot of level 3s on wake up, but they will not work on cooler, so basically the opponent always has to respect your wake up if you have those 3 bars. However, oddly enough, it will lose 2 dragon rushes, so keep that in mind. If you do that move raw and the opponent predicts it, or if they just feel like going for a dragon rush, it will beat your level 3. So while it does beat and counter nearly everything, including supers, it does lose to dragon rushes and other throws. So just keep that in mind. And next up we have his air level 3, which is actually an unblockable command grab. Which makes this level 3 very dangerous for certain setups, especially in the corner. And thankfully you can also combo into it naturally as well. So you don't need the mix up to actually get this super to land. Now unfortunately it does switch sides, and even if you do spend extra meter to do a special move that switches sides, and therefore do a double side switch, it still does not leave the opponent in the corner, it still leaves them basically mid-screen, so that definitely does suck, but this level 3 still has a ton of versatility to it, and it's a good mix-up too. Alright everyone, that's it for the cooler guide, thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please leave a like down below, it really does help my channel out a lot. And while you're down there, please post any tips you have for cooler as well. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit 
hit the bell. That way you never miss a future video. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs.